Congress report, you will see his grades, and he cannot edit it. You can control it, he cannot. And here, a change class, again, he, suppose that he joined your class, and then he discovered that um, Monday, Thursday at 6 o'clock is not good for him, he would like to change class during the first week to uh, other days. So he can change the class from your class to the new teacher's class after the new teacher gives him the class ID. And this is the listen to the class audio. They can listen at home. They, they don't have to carry CDs to class or even at home. They just listen at home. And if you'd like to provide them with the listening materials that I provide you with, it's according. It's, it's up to you. To make it easy for them because they may not be able to listen to the audio materials online. Internet home speeds sometimes, especially if it is a dial up, it's very, very low. So what happens when you click here, the most important, uh, what do we have exactly here? Uh, well, just what I showed you, we have seven things. Well, the first one, we can edit. This is just briefly explains what I, I told you before. Um, this is the explanation for each little button that you have on the monitor. All right. <coughs> if we click on lesson to audio materials, just as, as I showed you before, we have the list of units. If we click on any unit, for example, unit one, this is what they see. And they have three control buttons. What are they? Stop <coughs> and play and controlling the volume. All right. The girl asked, what about the practice part? The homework part. <coughs> Here you see, again, you have number one, the menus of activities. Number two, you have the units. And number three, most importantly, you have the activity area. The teacher is just saying this again here, the three parts, the activity menu, and the drop-down list of units, and the activity itself. All right. Now the learner hasn't forgotten her first concern. OK, how can I browse all these QSCAP books? <coughs> This is sent to you by me, by the way. If you click on this link, that's in the presentation forwarded to you earlier, and I can still forward to you again, what happens, you are taken to this page. This is called the Unit Sampler website. It's so easily, if you click on any book, it shows you a whole sample for, uh, well, for this unit. Teacher's book, online practice, student book, audio materials, and any additional materials. For just one unit for each book. So learners might be interested, you know, to, uh, for example, if they are doing book three, and then they are not sure if they are going to join the next level or not. They can see what the book looks like and its proficiency level by browsing a unit from the next level. So they decide, oh yeah, I'm going to buy this book next level. That's a good thing. Well, the publisher actually did this not just for fun, it's a promotion strategy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, you even they even can access, but it's not advisable to do, to do them so. They even can access, as I told you, the teacher's <coughs> manuals here, the audios here, the online practice here, and there is a unit walkthrough. All right. Now the student said, "Thank you very much. <coughs> what a wonderful book." This is the expected response of the learners at the end. All right. The teacher said, "You're welcome, but remember <coughs> the influence of a good teacher." can never be erased. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I expect you to say, and I'm sure that you are going to do a very good job. <coughs> and I wish you the best of luck at the beginning of this term. In case you have questions, wait until we finish the last part. What's the last part? Resources. Exploring the resources. What resources do we have? <coughs> Here on the desktop, using your uh, stick memory, you can take a copy of this folder. This folder actually, Q Skills for Success. What does it include? It includes two major folders. We have the Q Skills audio. Click here, and then you have the audio CDs for all the books. For level two, for example, you have three CDs. For three, the same. For four, you have four CDs. All right. What about the second folder? You have Q Skills resources. What do we have in this resource? Resources. We have number one PowerPoint presentations for level two, for example. Let's say, for example, unit one. It, it's, it doesn't show you anything new, by the way. It just presents the unit in a um, teacher-controlled manner. For example, if you, are doing, if you are doing this activity, here, look at, here the answer appears after a while. So it is, you know, it, it, it's a better way of presenting the unit um, other than the book. So you have a PowerPoint presentation for every single unit. And what? 
um, because I used the class, it has the meaning, the first part, and then the first listening, and the second, second listening. listening. But the, the grammar, you know, and all the other things, they don't No, care. it, it yeah. is you to create. But yeah, but that's, not, no, but that's nice to know, you know, that's actually, it's yeah. good. Yeah. Sure, yeah, because, uh, well, when you show them the exercise and ask them true or false, yeah. they say some true, false, okay, let's find out, yeah. so they yeah. can see the right answer, mm -hmm. all right? So, and of course, in addition to the 10 presentations for the 10 units in each book, you have another presentation called, well, unit openers. You see a very big page, a big picture at the beginning of each unit with a question. Here you have some additional information about this picture to help you as a teacher, give them background, background information about the unit openers. Okay? So, what else do we have? As I said, we have part one presentations. Here we have sample units at the beginning of the term. Um, you, Marwa, and Iman, so, uh, I, and I see, of course, I appreciate your hard work. You sent scanned images to the teachers. Well, uh, here you have also more units. That's, uh, I think this is the second unit of each book. But this one includes, uh, let's see here, it includes the, um, the teacher's um, handbook, uh, hand, handbook and the student's, of course, book, in addition to the listening part, the audience. So that you can send to the learners at, uh, during the first session, you know, because they, they're not expected to come to class with them. You need to tell them, unless they, they come from a previous level. But if they are level one, for example, <laughs> or uh, four or seven, so they're expected to be brand new learners. And what we have here, you have word list. You have the word list for each single unit. As Iman said, in each unit, how many vocabulary? Activities do we have? Two. Two, right. <laughs> yes. Uh, here, this file sorts out the words, the new words they are supposed to learn uh -huh. in each unit under, uh, you know, the part of speech, noun, verb, adjective, even phrases and phrasal verbs and so on and so forth. So you have word lists for each unit here. These are teaching resources. They, you can give them to the learners. Well, of course, at the time you want or at the right time for preparation, for review, for whatever. And here you have the scope and sequence for each book. That's the first two pages, the content for each book. And here you have the, um, the quick guide. It's a kind of a unit walkthrough for each level so that you can show the learner the main features of in, uh, each single unit you are teaching. And here you have what we call the learning outcome rubric. It's, you can use it for self-assessment at the end of each unit. And that's it. So, let's look here. Now that we have uh, explored three uh, things in our presentation, can you say, I, I'd like you to read it. Can you, can you, man, can you read this? Sure. Uh, I can access and use new skills <coughs> in my practice as a teacher. Can you read? Yes, I can. To a great extent, to a little extent. To a great extent. Good. <laughs> Marwa. Yeah, I can guide my learners how to do so as a learner. Yeah, you're telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> and can you do the previous one? Yes, yeah, definitely. Good. Yeah. Yes, I've already done it, yeah. Can you use Q-Skills teaching resources? Are you telling the truth? <laughs> Honest <laughs> to God. Honest <laughs> to God. And can you do the previous two ones? Yes. All right. So I have done a good job.